Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be doing a photo breakdown, like a teaser breakdown, for the All About Eve episode that's coming just next week. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So let's go ahead and talk about these photos. Also, first off, I'm just going to recap the synopsis, because it reveals some big things, and I'm going to quickly remind you of the trailer because again these photos don't show what it shows in the trailer and what it teases in the synopsis so I think there's going to be a one sort of main story that's going to be going on throughout this episode but I think we're going to sort of veer off and get these clues and we'll see that in the photos that we'll break down in a second but the synopsis goes like this Supergirl faces her biggest challenge yet Supergirl must deal with the destructive aftermath of Lex's nefarious plans. Shocked at what Lex has created, Supergirl faces her biggest challenge yet. And so, just to remind you guys, the trailer actually showcased Red Daughter pretending to be Supergirl in the White House as she killed all these people, as you can see. She uses her heat vision to actually beam some people inside the White House, so that's definitely not Supergirl. And Supergirl becomes number one enemy as said by the president, but this is Red Daughter impersonating, so we know Red Daughter has a Supergirl suit, which is very intriguing, and just keep that in the back of your mind when we're talking about these photos. So yeah, it's a big Red Daughter episode, and what the synopsis is actually referring to is her biggest challenge is Red Daughter, because at the end of the last episode, she finally arrived, she was in her suit, but as we saw last episode, she's able to imitate Kara, she's able to imitate Supergirl as well, that means and she can pretend and get away with it because she got away with it with her sister and if she can get away with it with her sister she can get away with it with everyone basically so her impersonation has been really really worked on and she really has got it nailed down this is mainly due to Lex Luthor and his teachings because this was all part of his nefarious plans as it says in the synopsis so She's shocked, and I think Supergirl definitely finds out about Rod Red Daughter in this episode. Maybe they have a fight. I would really, really like that, but I'm really excited for this episode, basically. So, the title is All About Eve. All About Eve is a film, and it's also a theatre performance, which is about, sort of, like, an understudy and an actor, so, like, two sides. So, I think that's definitely a reference to the two sides of Supergirl and then Red Daughter, two completely different people, but obviously very very similar last episode in how she saw what she, Supergirl was doing but due to her being manipulated by Lex she's essentially this opposite this bizarro figure to Supergirl so it's definitely a reference to the film but also it's a reference to Eve because a lot of this episode is going to be them going after Eve because Eve has this massive link to Lex and now that it's all been revealed like Lena's back you can see in some of these photos that we'll talk about so she's finally back so, they definitely know that Eve has been working for Lex this whole time, all behind the scenes. So, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the photos. Let's break it down photo by photo. So, the first photo we get to see inside this house, and we have Lena, Alex, and Supergirl, and we're presuming this is Supergirl. But anyway, if you just quickly look in the background, there's a sort of propaganda poster. It's a enlist for the US Army, and it says, follow the flag. Obviously, just very ironic considering what's going on right now and how you know Supergirl stands for the flag and Red Daughter stands for her own flag and yeah so just really nice to put that in but anyway so like I said Supergirl is here with Lena and Alex but who are they talking to so we see this next photo and we see this person and we have no idea who she is just to reiterate to you guys and Supergirl is here they're inside this person's house she has quite a nice house you know lots of vegetables lots of leaves sort of just a nice kitchen but I think and I have this theory that this is Eve's mum because we know they're going after Eve in this episode and this person she looks sort of like maybe she could be Eve's mum maybe a bit too young but I don't know how old Eve is actually so we'll have to wait and see as to who she is but my theory is she might be Eve's mum because that's who they're going after and then the next shot I think this sort of backs it up because we see Supergirl, Alex, Lena, and this person, but Alex has her gun out. And why would she have her gun out in a normal person's home unless she is afraid? And I think she would be afraid because 
especially Lena's here, and Lena basically got screwed over by Eve, and also the fact that Eve is evil, basically. She's working for Lex Luthor, and so Alex would definitely be on her guard if this was, say, someone related to Eve, because, you know, is she actually working for Lex? We don't know. But, yeah, th that sort of backs up my theory. So, the next photo is Lena and Alex, as they're in that same house, they're working together. Then we move on, and we see this photo of the DEO agent, so Brainy's there, Alex is there, and they are all standing with Haley and the other agents in the DEO, and they all seem very confrontational. Alex and some of the other agents have their gun out, so something is happening here, and we go on to the next photo, and this backs up my idea that potentially Red Daughter might be going undercover in the DEO in this episode, because we saw that in the White House, she's causing all that chaos. That is not Supergirl, just saying, you guys. Even if it looks like her, remember, she can imitate her. So, my theory is, the reason why they've all got their guns out is because, number one, Supergirl got fired. Supergirl can't really come back to the DEO, but she has returned. And, why would she return? I don't think Supergirl has any desire to actually return to the DEO. I can't really think as to why, but... We know in the trailer she's warning about Lex, so I don't know if she's sort of throwing us off the scent, but it seems a bit odd that she's got like this cake box, maybe she's offering cupcakes or something. It just seems really odd, and we saw in the trailer Red Daughter actually pretends to be Supergirl, so what happens if in the scene it's actually Red Daughter sur surfacing and actually looking at this place that, you know, protects the Earth? And this would be a place to strike if the Kaznians actually wanted to take over. So to stop them first here, so they, you know, take out one of the bigger sort of military operations. And they can essentially move in, maybe with the use of other aliens. I don't know if they have any, or any, you know, that work for them. So, that is obviously just me theorising, but I have a feeling, the Sneakins feeling, that she might not be Supergirl. And so the next photo is again of Haley, Alex, and the other agents all the, all got their guns out, and again very confrontational. Another photo of her actually with this supposed offering in the DEO with Brainy, Alex, and Haley. So again, I think this could be Red Daughter. I could be totally wrong though. All right, so moving on to the next photo, we have Brainy. He's very very excited or very happy he's done something right and i think this links to the next photo this is of brainy as they're up on the balcony outside the deo on the balcony and supergirl is there so this is presumably either before or after she's come in i'm presuming it's after because she might just fly off from here and they're talking together so Maybe this is him sort of deducing what's going on, I don't know. Or it could just be her giving a warning that Lex obviously is a massive threat and they need to sort of deal with him if they can. And so the next photo, again, the three once more, like a lot of these photos are just repeating themselves. But then we move on to the next and we see Ben Lockwood, he's back, he hasn't been in the last few episodes as far as I can remember. And his son's here. I have to say, by now, I'm kind of a bit done with him. I think he was really good at the start. He got a bit boring as we went sort of into the middle of the season. And I'm a bit tired. And that's why last episode, I think that enhanced the reason why I loved it so much. Was because it felt fresh, it felt new. And we'd been waiting for Red Daughter for so long. And it really paid off. And also Lex Luthor was freaking amazing. I had no expectations for him. But he blew it out of the park. And I really, really loved last episode. So I'm a little bit sort of concerned that maybe he's coming back. But I don't think he's going to take up that much time. He's just, you know, at his new job at the Department of Alien Affairs. We see in this next photo with his son again. And he's got the big logo, which kind of looks like a Star Wars logo, which is kind of funny. But yeah, so I'm really looking forward to the Red Daughter aspect of this episode because... We see in the trailer she's at the White House, she's causing all this chaos, and we know from the end of last episode she's in National City, she's fully geared up to kill and to, you know, eliminate Supergirl essentially, that is her plan, 
and also obviously the Kaznian is going to come over and then Lex is going to want to stop them. We know Lex is coming in the finale so maybe that is the sort of culmination of the season, the Kaznians versus the Americans. So the last few photos is of James and his sister so it's just him you know out of the hospital out of the bed for the first time supposedly and so yeah just various photos of them together so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment also subscribe turn on notifications if you are new so you don't miss any videos because youtube can sometimes be a bit weird with notifications so yeah please do that also follow me on twitter and instagram at the dc tv show to stay up to date with me but that is about it for this video guys so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys later goodbye